right, so just getting into Nebraska here. Gonna race to try to get the blind put in. It's uh, 325, it's 37 degrees out. Uh, it's supposed to be 22 degrees tomorrow. All right, so I just put the blind up. Hopefully nobody screws around with it. We should have some luck tomorrow. So I ended up seeing one small buck this morning, and then I had another small buck behind me. And then another doe came up, saw, saw the setup, didn't like it, bounded and scurried out tonight. Uh, I'm meeting up with Chris, we're gonna go check the other two cameras. Here's what happened. So I got down and scouted went across the across the creek. Not a lot of good sign, so came back over here, checked my cameras, and absolute monster for public land. I was walking uh, not not by this scrape, but by the other scrape. I followed those tracks. I put out a, another camera, so I've got a different camera, different location on a different scrape. 
that hasn't been touched or impacted by the wind. Not across the creek, so I'm just going to sit here and see. So I tore the stand down. So I'm walking the creek. I'm gonna walk it all the way around to where that last big scrape was. I'm gonna drop my stand there, then I'm gonna walk in. Uh, see if I can't find where he's at. Oh. All right, so I walk this edge all the way to where private is. It butts up up here and uh, he doesn't come down here. That's my guess. There's no rubs, no scrapes, and he's a very aggressive buck. He's rubbing every every 50 yards, he's rubbing something. And there's some prime stuff he should be rubbing. So I'm gonna backtrack to where I saw the last big scrape. And then the rubs. I'm gonna work on the pump and see if he's there. So I got a great wind. So it's in my face. Shouldn't be no harm. Alright, so I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna walk a mile back with, to the truck with my stand. I'm gonna go back with the truck, go all the way around, and get the wind back on my face and come back in the other way and see if I can't find where he's coming because this is him here at the end, but I think it's still dark. So I'd say another 400 yards and I got him in light. So we'll see if I can get back on him. All right, so I drove all the way back around and I'm coming in. So I know I got a little scrape right here, but I don't think that's him. But I'm gonna climb this. So this hill here on the other side is where I stopped. Uh, so I'll see if I can find any big rubs and scrapes. Well, so I had my, my buddy, I said 100 yards from the spot, there's a lot of big rubs in that, and I said, hey, I gotta check back here, because there was some really good scrapes during the spring when I was scouting. Big old rub. So I just, I'm putting up a trail camera right here, see if I can't find them.
I don't, I didn't get it on camera, but I shot him and he didn't go. He's right, he's dead right here. So I rattled. He uh, came back in, cut around me. I had to take him because my winds was going to hit him. Um, but he's, he's dead right here. I can see his belly. You know, I had him on the, uh, the other side. He liked to leave big rubs and scrapes. And I was, I was on him with my trail cameras and I, I followed him all the way to the private land. And then I backtracked to this area that I was looking at during the spring. And uh, I found his trademark rub and uh, just said, you know what, I gotta, I gotta sit it. So I couldn't be happier.